Dude, yesterday was such a weird day for me. I like stayed up for a super long time because the night before I had sleep paralysis and it terrified the fuck out of me. So I was too scared to go back to bed. So I just like try to prolong my bedtime basically for as long as I possibly could. And then today I feel like lightheaded. Fucking weird. Weird. Shit sucks. So you know what that means. Today I'm playing Reinhardt. <laughs> I'm not kidding, by the way. I actually just want to play Ryan. I just really feel like playing Ryan today. I don't know why. Oh god, instant Q-pop. I don't know how much I like that. I just feel like main tanking. And on Nate. Monkey's low. Let just protect your honor, okay? Good night. Did he nano the diva? Is there a Pharah? Uh, so I'm helping Arna. Can you Killer chasing, killer chasing. Do they have a Pharah now? Oh my god, I fucked him with my shield. He took his own splash damage. There's a load, dude. Monkey on top of the point. Yeah, I got Yeah, I'm not always available on on Poke's time schedule. Cause I I've been trying to like raid and stuff in a while, so I have a little bit of a schedule and then I'm dealing with a lot of outlaw stuff right now. So just because he's like available to do stuff doesn't mean I am. I tried playing blackout with him and stuff, but he was always like in a full party or with only one slot and shit. And like, you know, he has friends that he plays with and so do I. So I can't always be available in this single spot that he might have for me whenever that spot is available. Because like when I was playing blackout, I really wanted to play with folks. But he was always in a group of four or three. So there's only one. There's only like one spot, you know. I don't. I'm not just gonna sit and play alone and wait. That could work. And then they're doing cooking stream today, but I didn't know. Cause I was gonna stream yesterday, I just didn't, cause I didn't feel great. So I wanted to stream today, and then I was preparing for stream, and as soon as he walks down, I'm just about to start it. Oh my god! Fuck me! Oh, I fucking got her, dude. Big brain. I've been trying to play WoW with Poke for like oh, so fucking long. He just never wants to. It's Pepe Hands. I try to play shit with him all the time. He just doesn't want to play anything. He played Blackout a fuck ton. I'm glad he enjoyed that. But he doesn't want to play other games. Actually, I'm gonna stop this here. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. BRB, I'm gonna fucking speak, Dave. I'm locked out of my bedroom. I can't get in there. Her girlfriend's in there. Door's locked. She's not responding. I called her. I knocked on the door. I tried messaging her on every social media I have. She's not responding. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So no cam until I can fucking shit. Chat, do you guys spend a lot of time like just doing nothing? Like just sitting and doing nothing? Or when you're like bored, do you find something to do? Like if I have nothing else to do, I just find something to like, you know, I'll play games with someone or watch something or something. Just like make sure I have something to do. Yeah, I, I just feel like a bad friend sometimes. Because like... When I'm not 
not doing anything specific. Like I'll play WoW or something, or I play with like new friends or people in my guild, meet new people, and I'll just like make friends. So I have people to play with that I think are fun. I met some a fucking an idiot in WoW. His name is Free Time. He's fucking hilarious. He's so stupid, and all I do is insult him. And he's okay with that. And then like I've, I've tried so hard. I've asked so many times should I get folks to play WoW with me or like play other games and stuff with me. Most of the time I'll just, I'll just find something to do. You know, I'll play games with my girlfriend or I'll play. I'll play games with like, you know, new people or friends. And then Poke will come and ask me if I could do something. Like Brick now, he asked me to like join his cooking stream. I said I may be doing the later because I was going to stream more watch. Because I was doing something before. And like I've asked him, I've tried to get him to play WoW so much, but he just like, doesn't like the game anymore. I guess. Which I don't blame him for. But like, and it's like no other games he really wants to play. And, but when he asked me to do stuff, it's also like I'm also like busy doing something else. So I can't just join him on a moment's notice. So I say no a lot. Yeah, he's, he's in a cricket shoot right now. If he told me earlier, I would have been there, but... You know, I was gonna shoot more brush. Oh, I just feel bad for saying no so often, but also it's like... It goes both ways, you know? I ask a lot too. But I just feel like a bad friend. Because like, when I'm doing nothing, I find something to do. So I can't always be like available on a moment's notice just like that. Ah, oh, fuck me. So like, I've been bored and I've been like depressed and stressed because dealing with all this shit, you know, whatever. And I really need to break from Overwatch. I'll play WoW and like, I actually think WoW is fun and I met some new friends in WoW. And like, I'm playing WoW with people. First it was Poke. I grinded that shit with Poke. But like now, you know, I play with Dyrus and stuff like that. Like I have a game I enjoy. And then Poke will like say on stream that like, oh, lost Mendo to WoW. The dog hangs out with us more than Mendo does and stuff. And it feels bad. Cause like, uh, I've tried so much to hang out with him too, but it's really hard to just like find something to do when people come and ask you, hey, let's do something right now. It's like, oh, maybe later, because like I'm, I'm doing something with people right now. Oh, wait, that knock was huge. He couldn't swing. I get my ult. I don't need to ult. We won. It's still worth it. I'll die, but it doesn't matter. Oh my god! No fucking way! Lucio, what the fuck, dude? Well, You're a god, what the fuck? Oh, I'm not voice! Dude, Lucio, what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I did like weird Black Ops beta four days, and I grinded that game, you know. Like I was playing with EV, and then like I was, I was just playing duos and stuff. And then like Poke was playing with Train Wrecks and OP and Destiny and Vi uh, Viger and shit, right? And it's just like, damn, you didn't play with us a single time, and I feel like I didn't play with them, but he also didn't play with me, you know. But it makes me feel bad because like I invited him like if he wanted to do or stuff, but he was playing with other people, which like that's fine, right? But so so was I. I was also playing with other people. Like just because there's a spot open. I feel bad about not being available because they're available to invite me. But I also want to like play and live life, you know? I feel like that's just like being an adult and like having like, you know, doing separate things. And it feels nice having a hobby again, honestly. Having something that I like, I don't mind doing off stream. I put a lot of time into a while because I mean, I'm, I'm a try hard. I always will be, but it feels really nice just grinding something that I enjoy. Oh, when people say it's a match all the time, yeah, especially when like you don't really have a schedule, you just kind of sleep whenever you want. You just sleep for like a long time or a short time. And sometimes when I wake up, he's just going to bed and shit. Chat, you ever experienced sleep paralysis? It's fucking terrifying, dude. It's so scary. Yeah, I had one the other night. And like, I knew, I've had it so many times to the point where like I know it's sleep paralysis. So I was just trying to wake myself up and I couldn't. So I tried just fucking making sounds and trying to scream so my dog would make me up. He licked me in the face. It worked. I had my girlfriend wake me up too. It's scary though. It's fucking terrifying. One time you peed your pants? Dude, that shit's fucking terrifying, man. First time I had it, I got so scared. You have to relax? No, the trick that works the most is wiggle your toes. You want to wiggle your toes. So like being able to like being paralyzed sucks, right? But then being paralyzed and like hallucinating and seeing the scariest fucking things make it so hard to relax, dude. Fuck, that shit's terrifying. And I know it's sleep paralysis, but fuck me, man. Why do I have to play against Anna Brig Doomfist, man? Dude, let me play the game. 
Last time you had it? Uh, two, last night. Oh no, uh, the night before last night. I have a junk rat. Dude, they won't let me play the game. They're actually doing everything they can to just shut me down entirely, right? That's not fun. Oh, whenever you're so paralyzed, that your biggest fear is that the shit won't go away, that you're like paralyzed. That's fine, sorry. It's the biggest difference between 4.4 and 4.5 players. I did 4,400 for the first time in the past week, and I would like some advice to take my game to the next level. It's only a little bit. Consistency? Little. Uh, not even consistency in like how good you are. Consistency is just grinding. The difference between 4.4 and 4.5 is your luck and how many throwers you get and shit. As assuming you're good enough to be 4.5, which you probably are because you're 4.4. Okay. You just need a handful of lucky games. Or you just need the, the determination to fucking push through those bad games, you know? Yeah, it's definitely like the SR doesn't matter that much. Depends on your role too. You can increase your overall consistency for win rates by playing with other good players and roles that compliment yours. The Reaper. The Reaper's actually dominating, dude. Or sorry, dominating. Oh my god, the boop. Anna is dead. Okay, I have to go pee. My bathroom is available now. BRB.